Hey what's up guys, welcome to Deuterium Tech. In this video, we're gonna show you how to properly install a CPU processor, an Intel Core i3 processor or any other processor, actually any other Intel processor because they are all very similar anyway. In this video, we're gonna show you how to install an Intel processor on a motherboard, how to do it properly. Don't do what The Verge did. We're also gonna show you how to put on a cooler so first things first we have to we have to put out or bring out or unbox the processor so get a sharp thingy get a knife or a cutter and open the box obviously because you can't install a processor if you haven't unboxed it yet it comes with a sticker which I don't know where to put. And this is a Core i3. This is an Intel Core i3-9100. Where is that indicated? Oh, there isn't it in front. So, uh, this tier of processors come with a CPU cooler. So you don't really need to buy one, but if you want to look cool, you can buy something like this. totally unnecessary for this type of processor but if you want to upgrade to an i7 or an i9 you would need a bigger cooler so let's go ahead and put this in so don't drop the processor carefully open the packaging are we getting focused here yep open the packaging don't touch it yet and next is make sure that there's no static on your body. So touch something that's metallic. Touch the ground, actually. That's what it is. Touch the ground. So if your computer is, if you have a computer that's grounded, you can like touch any metallic part of it. And then you would be fine. Now the next thing to do is you can now open this cover from the socket. You press this lever and then bring it out like that open up open it up a bit okay now you have you better you be very very careful when installing this thing you can't bend any of the pins or get any debris or dirt in there because it's going to damage your motherboard and it's going to screw up your build now take the processor hold it at the sides the sides don't touch the back don't touch never never touch the back part you'll risk damaging it so you see this notches yes some semicircular notches here you can tell if you can see it yes here and here this should line up with the notches in the socket meaning you can only you will only be able to install this in one um, orientation. You can't like install it in reverse because do not just prevent you from doing that. And then, once you have it in place, make sure that it's uh, flat. It's properly placed, meaning it's it's not slanted or anything. It's level on the on the socket because if it's not level meaning it means that you did something wrong and take it out check if there's anything that's blocking the um, thing it's preventing it from being level and then once you're sure you bring this down you bring that down like that you see these two things I don't know what it's called it should lock in this sort of screw so it locks there and then while this cover is here you close it and it removes it gets removed on its own now we have your CPU installed to your motherboard the next thing that we need to do is install the CPU cooler now let's put this away 
So I have here a cryo rig H7 that we are going to put in here and let's zoom out a bit. Now with the Cryery H7 comes with this um, mount that's supposed to fit a bunch of sockets, the most popular ones, and this is supposed to fit the LGA 1151, which we have right now. I have a feeling this goes at the back. Actually, we should be we should be reading the manual. The mounting bar goes at the back of the motherboard. It's, uh, I think, these kinds of things because it's kind of hard to swap coolers when you want to change your cooler, clean your fan, or something. All right, so it goes there. Now, according to the manual, we need the long screws, which are this. And it's supposed to go. Okay, I think I understand now what it's gonna look like. It's supposed to go through here. Okay, so it you have to like screw it through the thing. This is maddeningly confusing. Okay, so it has a QR code for a video, but we're not noobs, so we're going to guess how it's done. Through hole B. What's hole B? It's supposed to be like this. Okay, I got it upside down. Is that why it wasn't working? Oh my gosh, that's why it wasn't working. Now it's through. Just have to figure out why now it won't. Okay, so that's. Okay, so I had the back plate upside down earlier. Now I have to screw this. Should go through. When installing the bracket, do a do it in a sort of diagonal way. So you start here, go to the other one like here. Don't do it like in a square pattern. You do it do a X pattern or a diagonal pattern because. It's gonna ensure that um, the bracket is gonna be, be going to be installed or it's going to be going to fit well or properly. Okay, it's not going through. All right, it went through. Now it's true. Now we flip it over. And now we have this. So before we continue, we have to check the orientation that this is supposed to be in. So normally the back panel, the I.O. plate, the, the rear I.O. plate is here so the flow should be coming from this side to this side and it doesn't have... Um, CPU coolers have this flow indicator so it shows which direction of the air flows so it's going through like this so we will want to install it like this. Now Here's the fun part. Now we have to remove this sticker. And it's one of the most satisfying thing. Be sure that when you've done removing, when you're done removing it, that you're not gonna put it on top of any surface because this uh, part is especially milled to be extremely flat so that um, there are no gaps between the cooler and the CPU. So be sure that once you remove that plastic, you are ready to slap it on the CPU. And let's put these brackets. And now we're going to apply thermal, thermal paste. Keep away from children and pets. Do not swallow and avoid eye contact with and avoid contact with eyes. Now we need a spreader. It didn't come with something to spread it on, so we're gonna spread it ourselves. But before we do that, let's check if we have the mounting right. All right. Uh, 
Okay, I think we got it. So that's the proper configuration now. We have to back out and then apply thermal paste. Just apply a very, very small amount. That should be enough. Remember, that's the only amount of thermal paste that you would want to, to have on your CPU. That's the correct amount, not, not like you're putting a sandwich spread on a CPU. Just that amount. P size. P size. Now let's slap on our cooler. Now, if you've noticed, we didn't spread it. It will be spread out once we fasten this CPU cooler. And we need a screwdriver. I now have my screwdriver, so we can now flip this over. Oh, oh, snap. Let's make sure, again, that the screws are properly aligned. Now let's flip the thing. Then we screw it in. Remember to do the clock, not clock, but cross pattern when tightening the bracket. should be tight but not too th too tight just make sure that there's enough tension all right that should be good now you can see that the CPU coolers um, plate is um, contacting the CPU properly. Can you see it? Okay. Focus. Right. And that's how you install a CPU, an Intel CPU, on a motherboard. As an added bonus, we're going to install the RAM in this video. So we're supposed to install it here. Let me get the RAM. We have here a HyperX. HyperX what? They covered it. A HyperX Fury 16 gigabytes single module of RAM. Nothing very exciting. Doesn't have LEDs on it or anything, but it's cheap and does the job properly. Oh look, we have stickers. I have to compile all of these stickers. I want to stick it on my computer once we're done. Now, to install RAM, you have to open that and that and slap it in. And firmly press, but not too firm, just enough so that you can lock it in place. Now, the RAM is installed. That's all for this video. Thank you guys for watching. If you like, if you like this video, dislike if you dislike it, leave us a message in the comments and don't forget to subscribe.